Welcome back, you're watching The Daily Rundown. Now, isn't it annoying how you have to remember a dozen different passwords for your email, social media accounts, and all that online shopping that you do behind your partner's back? Well, good news, Google is beginning. Why are you two looking at each other like that? You, who's that ass? Is that you, Penny? Uh, well, good news, Google is beginning to test a new login method which could replace passwords. The system is designed to be used on smartphones and works by constantly checking for a number of personal indicators which can grant access to accounts or to the phone itself. For example, it could analyze your face, your voice, how you type, how you swipe, or even how you move. What do you think about this one, guys? Does this sound safer? I love how they put in how you swipe, like that's just a thing people do now. <laughs> yes. This is, that's, that has come straight from Tinder. That has. <laughs> that's straight, that's come straight from Tinder. Yes. Oh, oh gosh, let's w figure out. Oh, it's definitely it's rigid because he's like yeah, fucking yeah. right eight times for every yeah. one left. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's definitely Richard's brother because he's every 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you think about this one? Do you, do you use um, a lot of uh, accounts and stuff that you need passwords for? Yeah. Oh, yeah. loads, well, loads. Oh, same same one. Thing. Oh, working in the NHS, it's like Fort Knox. Yeah, they change your password so often. I was about to say, they make it because oh. when I used to work in offices, we had to change the first of the month. And you know, you'd come in, oh. like, I might brush in and it would be, mm. I might be a bit late maybe. And I'd go, <laughs> not, oh, I'm no, trying to log you, in. Darling. Not Not at all. <laughs> trying to log in, oh, you know, they are yeah. telling me now I need to change. And I'm looking around. I'd always end up going, oh, stapler two. Or like printer one. You know, yeah. this is the stage. After I'd gone through all the good ones, you know. I go through sweet, um, sweet chocolates, um, sweet des desserts, that sort of thing. But then you chocolate forget, cake, you think, which one is it though? Yeah, which is it today, yeah. Is it profiteroles or is it chocolate cake? Yes. Yeah, it was Eccles cakes, that yes. kind of thing. But um, does this sound, would you prefer something like this? Um, I, oh, well, I'm sure. not sure I trust it. No, I'm not oh, sure I trust but that's, it. But that's, that's the device saying, oh, I know it's him, he's so boring. He does things the same every time. Uh, You're that, very worried about I know, yeah, I don't want to be boring. boring. Yeah, exactly. Well, my, then my phone's telling me, you know, oh, it's definitely that you. Would be because the old <laughs> Yeah, I can tell by the way you're sat. <laughs> so what about you, Penny? I, I'm, I'm like, because I'm, I'm a bit of a technophobe. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm a bit of a luddite. I'm well, hang on. Now. You've got, have you got, you got, have you got social media? Um, I media. tweet. You tweet, right? Okay. So, and yeah. You to advertise you have a shows. Smartphone. Like, yeah, I was given a smartphone, which I left in a drawer for ages until I needed a new boiler. Now this does make sense, really, because when. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does so make sense. I, I got a new boiler and they said for a tiny bit more money I could have remote control. And because I go away and do panto and I do shows and things, I thought, oh, if I can be away in panto land and leave the heating off but check the house hasn't frozen and then make it oh, warm wow. to come home. Ah. So then I got the smartphone out of the drawer because you needed a smartphone to do that. And then I had to learn how to use the smartphone. So now I've got a... You see, there's a... That's great. Thing. So eventually yeah, yeah. her boiler will know who, it, who she is. Who oh, she it's yeah, definitely Penny. Yeah. But, how, but will it, though? Will it? Penny, that's a big jump you took from not having a smartphone to checking your heat. I know. On the phone. I know. Mm -hmm. It startles everyone who knows me because everyone yeah. who knows me knows I'm like, ew, technology. And then I go, well, I'll just check them. And they go... Right. You, what? <laughs> so, but do you find it difficult though having to make a password now? Do you find that yes. annoying, cumbersome? Yes, especially and... just the other day, I had to redo um, insurance for my <coughs> boat. It's not as good as it sounds. And because sounds pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, you should see it. So, On sale canal. <laughs> Bridgewater <laughs> Canal. Needs a lick of paint. <laughs> needs a lot of love. A rowing. Is it a rowing boat? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a cruise. Canoe. Isn't that oh, is it? Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you just got boat envy. Um, you got rid of your boat. Yeah. No, but because I hadn't done that since for a year and I hadn't made a note on my little scrap of paper of the password, I had to do forgotten my password and then oh, do yeah. yet another new one. Yeah. Now, when it's regular things, I'm probably like most people use... I used to use the same password for everything and then some things didn't like it. So I've got three or four passwords. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. But then I had to think, oh, which one is it? Yeah. Or did I change the number on it this yeah. time? And I then it becomes it insecure. So, so people then go for 1111 or 2222 oh, or something. Do they? And then, do they? And then they well, people, people I know. That's stupid. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> who, are, who are these people that you know? <laughs> you need to go and change all your passwords immediately. And, and your yeah. friends. Yeah. Have, I, yeah. have I told too much to live television here? Yeah, my goodness, though. That's very simple. Yes. One, two, three, four. But I won't tell you my bank password because that's. Oh, oh <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> See, but, but you're not going to be yet, despite all this, you're not comfortable with the idea of um, technology recognizing your goings on. I mean, because I, I, we've got my phone has a, uh, it's the, uh, the, 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 the six. The thumbprint thing, yeah, I like that, yeah. Ah, that's oh, does quite it? Cool. Yes. Yeah. But then I just see an, an episode of the new X Files series and someone was killed and they just took yes, a hand they and took put it on his thumb. Did you see that oh, one? They took it No, no, but I've phone. seen films where it's the retina thing and they just take, you know, kill someone. That was oh, the minority report. Was it? I don't know. Take their eye and use that to 
<laughs> just a thought. If you actually, when you're, when you're programming your phone to recognise your thumbprint, if you did your nose, would it actually recognise your nose? Uh, if you stick your nose on. Yeah, just stick your nose Does on your the nose thing. Eventually we'll go, ah, oh, that's your nose, because that's your thumbprint. Your I, don't nose. Well, you don't, I don't know. Does a nose have a print, though? No, it, I mean, no, it doesn't know. No. It's 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 it. But if you had an accident and lost that thumb... Or lost your nose. Or, not so worried about the nose. Or lost your phone. You lose your phone. lost your phone. It's more like you lose your phone, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, even with passwords, often you can't get, oh, password not recognised, password, and you know darn well it's the right one. I now, know. what if you're not recognised? You can't do anything about that, no, can you? you? Right, you're programming, you're saying. You're programming two thumbs. Because there's, yeah, there's very I few th accidents where you lose both thumbs. Unless, like, you're doing that somewhere okay. in like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh. All right, but what if it's recognising your, your face or your gait or whatever, and it says, no, I don't, no, I don't, no, no, it's not you. That's difficult, yes. You, you can't, you can't reset yourself. You're, you're yourself. Of that day, you've got a sore, you've got a sore throat, and your voice yeah. isn't working right. So the big, some yeah. yeah. yes. there, right in there. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah you're right. Yeah. That, that's that's a good question. Overall, though, with security, do you <laughs> think security would be it would be enhanced? I mean, this is this well, they're, they're never so, don't ending. they reckon so, don't they? Didn't Google say it's a ten times more safe yeah, than thumbprints? I don't know how it can be ten. Can't ten they do one that reads your DNA? Do all your fingers. Something that's oh, you have to bleed on yeah, your phone right, every time, right. yeah. But the whole thing is getting so complicated though, isn't it? It's becoming so um I mean, tech is just Ugh. so much in oh, we'll too wondrous. We'll just be chipped like dogs. Do you think so? Eventually. Yeah, will yes. that be next? Yes. Well they've already got the idea that the Google optic whatever it's called. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Your eye and yeah. Yeah. Uh, every every time I, I hear this kind of technology it. thing, just I just feel like we're going one step closer we're becoming to becoming robots. Terminator yes, yes, exactly Skynet that. situation and yeah. computers becoming self aware. What even would be the risks around that then though? Like, I suppose can you imagine if somebody did, you know, you know, if you were ever worried about being mugged maybe at the ATM and someone would say, put your number in, and that's yeah. how I imagine they would say it. It's very threatening. Put your, <laughs> yeah, in, put yeah. your number in. Yes. <laughs> Just exactly like that. Well, I'll that, take yes. your thumb off. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine, though, if somebody comes along and they say, give me your phone, okay, put your thumb in, smile, uh, swipe, it's, type, hello, it's I me, can't. or whatever. You know, that would be a bit more, maybe it definitely would maybe be off-putting. It definitely they, maybe would be yeah. off. It definitely maybe, maybe possibly definitely would be, be off-putting. Because off yeah. they would never be able to use your phone. Because if your phone goes, no, go away, it's not. Fiona. Yeah. And they steal your phone. They can never use it. Yeah. So it's wasted and they won't be able to sell it yeah, on. Yeah. It'll be just a piece of metal. So are you, have you come full circle? Are you convinced? No. <laughs> yes, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> possibly. You're not, that, you're not that bothered by your phone, I think, is the feeling I get. Yeah, I you're, you're, you're right. You're so right. <laughs> no, I use my phone a lot because I, I do through work and things. I have secure emails on it through NHS Net. And, yeah. and actually, um, some of my patients email on it. And they're very poorly people. I give my email address. They yeah. can email right. me and things. So, so some very confidential information comes through. So, so mine has to be very, very, very protected. Yeah. So you'd welcome this then, would you? Um, if it was better than um, thumbprints or number security, then yes, probably would do. Yeah, I feel like we're going to sit down. Just don't trust it. It's just going to take us five mm. minutes to log into everything now at this point, isn't it? Though, as opposed yes. to your whole, takes your height, your weight. Yeah. I, I do, do. Do you know those scene in, ter in the Terminator films where you see through the Terminator's eyes yes. and he's sizing up each yes. part of his body and his underwear? Gosh, you know, yes, it'll be doing I that. I feel that, like the computer it? will be doing that. Yes, it will be Yeah, that's kind of right. We should be there by now, though, going on all those films anyway. We should be way past this. Absolutely. Well, we do it with passports, don't we? You've been in the special passport queue yet, where you go in and. Oh, yeah, the. Yeah, you just. Need to go you through yeah, you just, just, you just yeah. put your passport in and look at the thing, and it yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was getting it wrong because I leave my glasses on. Are you meant to take them off? Yes, um, yes, <laughs> yes, you are meant to take them off. Some glasses on, then they say, no, we don't know who you are. Go to the back of the other queue, and you go, oh, no. And then your friends and your relatives, the other side of the thing, laughing at you, and yeah, you've got to wait another 20 minutes wrong. to get through. Yeah, you know, that happens to me all the time, anyway, no. with nothing to do with glasses. So I don't know why that is. It never recognises <laughs> when I'm trying to come back on the electronic ones. Anyway, everyone should have those by now. Anyway, it should be. Should be, yes. People yes. will be redundant. That's yeah. the next story. Aww. Thanks very much. Let's go to our last Cheery. story, guys. <laughs> Auditors for Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs has revealed that Following staff cuts, customer service has collapsed. Taxpayers seeking telephone advice face an increase in costs by around 50% and some are waiting on the phone for an hour before they could talk to someone. This year so far HMRC has reduced their staff by a third and some say this is a classic case of how public services need more funding and not more cuts. Others say it's a sign of an organisation which is failing in tackling tax avoidance and is increasing the financial burden on the British Public, a nice cheery light story. That's quite serious. <laughs> to isn't it? go out on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, it's the, the, the news story. Well, the news story is all about how long it takes to answer the phone, doesn't it? Yeah, which 
I'm amazed that actually somebody stays. On the, what was the average in 2014 was 47, 47 minutes, minutes, which yes. is which is amazing. I mean, who stays the on the phone for, for 47 minutes? Who stays there for? Well, well, well this is probably, that somebody who doesn't know what to do on their tax return, I guess, or somebody who's quite well, worried yeah, about. Desperate. You know, that's, that's the whole of the show so far. I'd be like me doing this. Yeah, yeah no, no, but they might have it on speakerphone <laughs> while they're carrying on doing things and waiting for it to stop playing that whatever awful music it's playing at yeah, 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 or whatever yeah, it it's do, doing. Yes. So I have no patience with call queues. I'd rather go to jail for tax evasion by accident. It would be an accident, though, because but, I would yeah, say, yeah. I, say, I rang them, I say in the phone, I did 15 minutes, I just thought, that's it now, you've had yeah. to. Well, yeah. interestingly, interestingly, the news report said that the average wait time now is six minutes. But six minutes is still a long it's time. It's still a long that's time. Elaborate. It's I mean, just you six minutes. Eventually, you just go, oh, I've got it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, six minutes, no, I'd probably, I, th I guess if it was urgent, I'd wait for six minutes. Yeah, but I don't know. Do yeah. you think is a tax return urgent? Is well, I suppose if it's midnight, yeah. Is phone call free? I mean, are you paying for that? Well, yeah, you probably are. It would be interesting to know where these calls actually occurred. Did it come close to the kind of deadline or something like that? And maybe, maybe it was people panicking, you know, as they kind of went on or something like that. That might be where they had no choice and say, oh, I can't just ring back. I have to get this done now. Yeah. Maybe like, maybe we should all just have accountants, regardless. Yes, so we'd send it in on time, yes. Yeah, and he does. Well, I mean, at least they can help you with your questions and that type of thing. Something like that be better. I mean, it is it is quite poor service to... it's. Very poor service to have to wait for 47 minutes on average. Absolutely, Like yes. you said, Richard, you're thinking six minutes is bad enough. Yes. Well, well, uh, well working for a public sector body, yes. the NHS, I'm fully aware, being a GP, just how busy the phones get. And we, we had, so this is quite serious, this, but um, we had a thing last year where we changed our telephone system. It would tell us the number of people who just gave up. Oh. And on the first Monday we had the, tele 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 the, the, the thing put in, it was 200 people gave up. Ooh. And you go, oh my God, I didn't know that was happening. That's 200 people actually say they can't get through the doctor to put the phone down. Right. Oh, yeah. And so we did loads of things in the practice to try and change that. And now we, it's about two or three people a day now. Right. Much less. So you can do it. Right, okay. So I mean, I guess that this report should hopefully, um, will hopefully kind of trigger something like that. Yeah. Because I mean, it, do, it does seem, I don't know, taxing, it doesn't seem something that people should be left waiting about. Not you know, at all, no, no. It does seem a bit unfair. And all, or else they need to install free phone lines, might be another thing. Possibly, a yes. free phone line, if yes. you don't leave people there. Yeah. Uh, 47 minutes is a fair whack. Well, if, if, if it's about tax, isn't it? And then if, if people don't pay their tax because they can't get through, that's a crying shame. Yeah. Because taxes are important. Yeah. All right, maybe, maybe because of this report, that it'll become a, an, an excuse now, though. Yes. I rang! I rang, I rang, I rang, look at my phone bill, yeah. Yeah, I got, got cut off because because I was on the phone so long. <laughs> Thanks very much for that, guys. Uh, we're going to go for a break. When we come back, we're going to be talking about foster care at Fortnite. Don't miss that.